Can't wait to... Our business is with the muties, not you. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Something on your mind? Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Smart, charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. That happens, there's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others, mutants included. See you.
Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Right. Good luck. I was just wondering what had become of you. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Didn't I? Did you encounter undue difficulties? Clearly not. Or you wouldn't be standing here, would you? All that matters is whether the data is intact. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. You want to renegotiate your contract? Hmm, this is a very serious matter. You do understand that, don't you? I realize that one's word counts for a little in the wasteland, but amongst civilized people, one doesn't just demand more than one has agreed to. Now, wait a minute. There's, there's no need to do anything rash. Naturally, OSI would be willing to negotiate for exclusive rights to that data. Here, take these caps. That's all of my contracting budget and it's yours. Now, I've got to get back to work. I'm sure you understand. Exit's over there. You can show yourself out. 